Got back down the lake, it's Sunday, Easter Sunday, 24th of April. Down for two nights, I've got Monday and Tuesday off work, so I thought I'd get down here a little bit later. It's been a few on over the weekend, but they started packing away now, so beat the rush. Um, I've ended up in the, the muddy swim at the minute, anyway. Got the wind pushing in here, nice northeasterly. Uh, when I did first get here, we saw a few fish rolling at about 110 yards out, so I've got two rods over that sort of area. Nice big silty area. Uh, the right hand rod's just gone probably 40 yards down the margin, just in case there's any, any fish patrolling around there. So yeah, it's a glorious day. Sunday evening, there's a few fish starting to crash out there now just within my water um, just had our tea uh, midway through cooking my left hand rods rattled off bit of a, a strange take though lifted into nothing so uh, I'm not sure if it was just a some sort of a liner maybe a, a fish trailing line um, but it was a full blown it was a full blown take but lifted it into absolutely nothing so but at least there's fish out there moving. there Monday, 9 o'clock, didn't happen through the night, um, I've been up since just before 6, the fish have been going absolutely balmy out in the middle, a lot of swirling, flicking of tails, not 100% that they're feeding fish because they're not rolling as in a head and shoulder but they're definitely active, are they getting ready for the spawning I'm not sure. Still got a night to go.
short. Twenty-four eleven. Surprise. 10 o'clock, I thought I'd miss my uh, my opportunity. Just ripped off out the blue. Um, yeah, I'm well happy with that. First fish with a new bait. Just a quick update for you. Nothing's happened through the day that fish at 10 o'clock this morning. The wind's been battering in here from the northeast all day. Just coming up to the evening now and there's a few fish just starting to roll. Probably five or ten yards past the baited area so you know, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good for another bite tonight. Um, I've also just got a Margin rod tonight. We've seen a few fish in pretty close, maybe five to ten yards out from the bank, just along the margin of shelf. Really getting in tight with this wind, so I placed one down the right hand side. I've got no one fishing next to me, so I thought that I'd get one down there. Just a little bit of a silty hump that rises two foot, two foot higher than anything else around that area. So I have had fish off it before, so. It's always confidence. Away, but unfortunately, it was a lost fish because I used such a long hair, the, the hair had wrapped around the, the hook. Um, but yeah, it's looking good, I think. I think we're going to get another chance before dark, hopefully, anyway. There's a lot of fish out there now, so let's get this back out. Quick run through of the new setup 22mm Solar Club Mix bottom bait, size 6 X wide gape solo hook, I've got one of the new proton prototype materials on, it's the easy strip coating material, the first couple of inches peeled back there, there are a few blobs of putty there just to keep everything pinned down, running lead once again, I always like to try and use the running leads and then another new nifty little prototype from, from Solar is the new unleaded material. Exactly the same as lead core, except as you can see there's no lead inside. Nice and supple material, still spliced in the same way. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's going to be a real big edge because that's obviously just going to sit nicely over the light bed. Get it back out.
looked so good last night for a bite, um, but it didn't happen. Uh, the fish stopped showing just as it got dark, disappeared, I'm not really sure where. Um, I've just heard that there's a guy up the left hand side of the island, he had two last night, even though there wasn't anything showing up there all day. Did they move down there? Was it just a small group of fish? I don't know. But, uh, it's a nice overcast day today. Um, I'm going to be here for the rest of the day. So, with the wind still pushing down here, I'm, I'm going to keep my eyes out and hopefully nab a fish before we go. That's the plan. Well, I've had my eyes on the water since about 7 o'clock this morning. I've only seen another one fish in the area. I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the fish backed off the back of this stale wind last night. So I've decided to come up to the right hand pad swim. Just get the rods out there for the last few hours before packing away to go home. Tom got round here this morning, he's in the back of the swim next door. He's just had a 25. So I think it was uh, I think it was the right move to get down here. Down the side of the island for the last few hours. I think he puts me in with a good chance. Maybe nicking one more fish before we go. It's definitely a lot colder today. The wind's got a lot more bite to it. Uh, it's staying overcast, we haven't seen any sun this morning, so let's just see what happens. I'm probably going to give it about another 30 minutes or so. I haven't seen any fish since I've, I've made the move, so... This could be the end of this week's video blog, so... Get myself back home. Two nights time, I'm off to France for a few nights, so get everything ready for that anyway, so... Till the next time...